Good evening. Hi, Frank. Don't be scared, though. I will stop here now. So. so, who's here for the first time? Who hears this for the first time? Don't be afraid. And it's too much in one to go. It's too now, I'm sure that if I ask this question to a few people of you who are new, it's the same question as this question, a little bit. I don't want to go. How many squares do you see? It's your first time, right? How many squares do you see here? Sixteen. Sixteen? Are you sure? Sixteen, mm -hmm. yeah. How many do you see? Twenty. Somebody else has another idea? Twenty-one. About forty, I think. Forty? Twenty-five. So it's strange that with one drawing, people have different answers. You see 16, 20, 21, 25, 40. And you're right. Here are one, two, three, four. But this one is also one. Okay. This one is also one. This one is also one. And if I draw lines now this way, and we go in dimensions, it's even much more behind. Now, this is a little bit typically euphony. The first time you see it, you say, for God's sake, what are they talking about? It's not possible. Why didn't they tell me eight years ago? All these people are standing here. I'm eight years in the business and I'm... Why do you tell me now? <laughs> Why not seven years ago, when I needed the bloody money? No. I mean, this is typically euphony. It's an opportunity where you need to be open and see what it really can bring to you. Because you can look at it and say, oh, I know a few people, five, six, perhaps seven, seven multiplied by 15 between 80 euros, 50 averagely, yeah, I can get my money back. That's a way of looking at it. Way of looking at, I know, where's my mobile? How many contacts are in your mobile, averagely? 50, 60, 70 yeah. addresses? 80? 100? Yeah. Mine are more than 1,000 in, but that's because all the BCs are in, so it's normal. But most people have more than 200 addresses in their mobile, and they still keep on saying, I know only 10 people. It's quite strange. Never forget that people know people. So if you know somebody, they know people. And that's a little bit what John explained earlier on. He didn't know the people that joined on his second or third level and still made his business huge. And this is a little bit why nobody can see the exact amount of squares, because you don't know where to go to. And you need something you need to be open for, first of all. It's open-minded, like John said in the start. It's a little bit difficult tonight, eh? Two Johns. I mean, can't we change that next time? <laughs> Seamus first, and I know. I speak about John, it's always the same person. Um, but it's a fact. You need to be open for it. You need to know exactly what you want, and you need to talk with the people that invited you here tonight to know the complete opportunity, because that opportunity doesn't stop, it stops where you stop thinking. And the only, out of my, I'm now nearly 10 years in euphony, the only mistake a consultant can make in euphony is to stop with euphony. That's the only thing. There's no mistakes possible. Yes, you can fill in a contract wrong, so what? We help you to correct it, it doesn't matter. But stopping with euphony is stupid, really. There are people, and this is not a joke, people in the early moments of Belgium that stopped after, and believe me, the first year of Belgium was, was hard. Yeah? A lot of things went wrong, we were brand new in the market, it was very, very challenging. And after a year and a half, people said, Frank, it was too much, and I will stop, I can't take it anymore. And they sold their number, because that's something you can do. You build up a portfolio of customers, you have to sell it, or you want to sell it, it's possible. So they did. And I'm not joking, these people, and, and I still see them, they sold a number for 1,500 euros. That same number today brings 27,000 euros a month. A month. But on that moment, it was too much for them. And they sold it. So it's, it's quite strange. You need to take it, look at the opportunity, Put down your targets, put down your goals, make a good plan, 
because the plan will follow you the rest of your career in euphony. Let me explain a little bit. <coughs> I will go a little bit more in detail. I don't want to scare any new people. I will try not to speak Chinese. I will try to speak normal language. But euphony is a kind of special language. And normally with, with the equipment you saw, there is a small dictionary, a small euphony dictionary. And we speak, we speak in euphony in abbreviations. We like to speak about QS, PQS, RPU, this, SES, da, 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 and nobody understands us. So I will try to keep it as simple as I can. One of the first things you need to do in euphony is like John number two said, is trying to get as fast as possible 10 people you know joining for the service. They become a customer. And find somebody that also wants to make some money like you did. If you do that, that's called, in a very difficult euphony language, a PQS. And it stands for personal quick start. Because you quickly started and you did it personally. It's not that difficult. If you say it for the first time, please. So, PQS. Now, there are different PQSs. You have the one that I just said that you can achieve in your 40 days. And which, like John showed, will bring you 130 euros. Now, this is the, the small sign that he said, you, and you bring, you make 10 customers, and you bring a person, doesn't matter who it is, you earn the 130. Now, like he also said is, this person can bring as well 10 customers, five and it will bring you, as well, money, 140. Now, what I just want to explain is that John, in one moment, spoke about bonuses. It means, if you start to do this, and this person does the same thing, you could earn a bonus. And that bonus was 1,000 euros. He stopped here and spoke about 350, and then he said, if you do that again, you get an additional 650. We call that the PQS 90. Don't try to remember. Everybody will explain you again. I just want to show you something. It's not that you learn what I say. What is important is that Euphony will give you a plan that is workable. You need to pull out that plan together with the BC that invited you, which is called your, probably your sponsor. Now, there is a hell of a lot of money in the first 90 days, and John showed it. It's more than 2,300 euros. Now it's up to you, your decision, whether you want that money or not. The money is there. You bend yourself, you pick it up, or you leave it for the next one. That's your choice. The problem is, there is a second one. <clears throat> if you do this, this, I call it, is a kind of career move. Because always, as long as you work in euphony, you will be possible to show this to your own people, because you did it. Next time you invite somebody in a room like this, you say, this is what I did, you can show them afterwards. Our reports are a little bit smaller. They are normally A4. They are normally this size. They're not that big. And you show them your money, what you earned, in your 30, 40, 50, 60 days. <coughs> the nice thing is, Always use it. This is your career. You say, look, I did this. I did it this way. I will help you to achieve it as well. And everybody will follow you. If you didn't do it because you thought that it will happen from its own, if you sign today and you pay the 350 and you go to the door and you open the door, the contracts will not fly in. It's impossible. If you sign with Euphony, and you think that euphony will work for you, you're wrong. Because euphony doesn't work. You have to work. But if you do everything, like your sponsor will explain, and you do it really, and you get paid for it, you can use it afterwards. It makes your career so easy afterwards, you can't imagine. <coughs> 